Hello everyone. So going back, let's discuss now the history of accounting. Okay. Okay, so for the history of accounting, it started when the human beings live in caves, in trees, and in other safe dwellings, wherein their main occupation was to collect root crops, vegetables, and fruits, and to prey birds and animals for their living. In doing these activities in a day-to-day -day basis, they would actually... Uh, they would likely keep records of their harvest and praise to keep track of inventories while scheduling some of their time doing other things. They did this drawing lines and figures on the stones, on walls, ceilings, inside their caves, on the bark of the trees, on the skin of animals, and making knots out of the vines or creepings or grasses. Okay, so as time passed by, men had to leave the caves and started living in groups or tribes, started cultivating crops and kept domestic animals. They kept records of their harvest, fall trees and animals by making markings and writings on the walls of their abodes on cut woods or making knots out of the roots or vines. During these times, they would normally cultivate and raise animals and poultry for their own consumptions and indulge on a living exchange of goods. Okay, so then these societies gradually expanded and the demand of men for their necessities in terms of goods and basic needs started to increase. There, uh, there became new system as men started to do the barter system. Yeah. So when we say the barter system, exchange of goods instead of using um, money. Yeah. So barter system yeah, of goods when other needs cannot be provided by, by their own produce. So in ancient Europe, man kept records by marking accounts on the back of the doors, by drawing marks on the mud walls, write this on the skin of animals, or by, by marking on a sticks of woods, from woods, branches, and or on chopped woods. Yeah. So later in time, a new system was introduced as the medium of exchange in doing transactions the use of money made of uh, made from minerals so in this monetary activities merchants and other types of businesses emerge and trading between persons family and institutions became widespread using cash or credits and maintaining records was necessary for all transactions Okay, so then on 15th century, modern accounting was born due to sudden increase of trade and commerce, the necessity for uh, the, the necessity of formulating specific policies and guidelines and maintaining accounts, books and records was desired. So in 1994, uh, in 1494, in a book written, by Luca de Pacchioli, who was an Italian priest and philosopher, he included in it a section that explained the basic principles of double entry and double entry system of bookkeeping, wherein a value that is received should be equal to the value that is parted with. Okay, so when we say double entry system, Yan, yung meron na pa yung de uh, debit and credit na tinatawag. So, pag debit, ayun yung mga um, 
bagay na na-receive mo, credit, ayun naman yung sinacrifice mo no, para ma-receive mo yung debit. Okay, so that is called double entry system of bookkeeping. So in this principle, one may earn a profit or a loss in the, in the, in the transactions depending on the satisfaction of the parties involved in it. In a short period of time, this practice of bookkeeping was adopted in different parts of the world. And since then, accounting being an art and science, different methods of keeping accounts were practiced by different indust industries following the double entry system invented by Luca de Pacchioli. With the progress of trade and commerce and health of the technology, accounting has evolved to what it is about in the present. So, ayon. So, who is Luca uh, Luca Pacchioli or Lucas Pacchioli? Luca de Pacchioli. Okay, so marami siyang uh, name, eh, no? So, who is Luca de Pacchioli? And he is an Italian accountant and mathematician, actually philosopher din daw, no? And priest. And born in 19 uh, in 1446 in San Sepol San Sepol Pro Italy known as the father of accounting so dito natin dapat sisihin no kung bakit tayo naghihirap yan yeah, bakit uh, bakit pinahirapan tayo ng accounting siya ang may kasalanan siya ang nag-invento no no so he is the father of accounting created and published his first ever accounting book in 19 uh, in 1494 and 1494. Ayan, andiyan nakasulat yung double uh, entry system of bookkeeping and which was based on five sections found in the title of his book. He added on uh, he added on to his contributions by publishing a second book on double entry system of bookkeeping and or double entry accounting. He was also the man responsible for introducing the use of journals and ledgers in accounting. Ayan, siya ang nagpasimuno ng paggamit ng journals and ledgers. Siya rin ang nagpasimuno ng double entry system. Ayan, kaya tayo may accounting ngayon. And yung, um, yung book niya na yon or yung system niya na yon nagamit siya in different, uh, different parts of the world. Okay, one event considered to be basis uh, to be to be the basis for accounting history, accounting can date back to the 14th century with its introduction of double entry bookkeeping by Luca Pacioli. Yeah. In Luca uh, in Pacioli's book, De Com uh, De Computis et Scripturis, there are many commerce topics. Pacioli's book also marks the beginning of development of accounting. And so, how the accounting profession developed after after Pacioli, the modern foundation of accounting emerged in 1854, when the profession of chartered accounting came about. Okay, so nung 1854, jana start yung pagkakaroon ng mga uh, chartered accountant or yung tinatawag na mga public accountants na tinatawag. And many rules, standards, yun of the accounting world have changed over the years. So, nagkaroon ng mga laws, yan, yung mga stand, accounting standards na sinusunod at dinodocument naman yan. And from time to time, habang nagbabago din ang batas, yan, nagbabago ang mga, uh, ang economic, nai-invent ang mga bagay-bagay, nagkakaroon, na, nababago yung mga standards natin. Okay, so under individual associated with accounting, si Benedetto Catrug, Catrugli. Kotu, ano, Kotrugli. Yeah, and countries that influenced the accounting system that we know today, Scotland, and yung Italy. Ayan, sa, kung saan ang galing si Luca Pacioli sa Italy. How did these account, uh, countries influence the accounting system? Italy developed the double entry bookkeeping. Ayan. And the Scotland then developed the concept of chartered accounting and the position known as the chartered chartered accountant which is used in the US today. So yon, 'di ba sa atin CPA, uh, certified public accountant. Pag sa US naman meron silang ACCA, pero meron yon bago ka maging CPA kailangan mo munang maging chartered accountant bago ka maging certified public accountant in the US. 
uh, we have here the seven key ingredients that led to double entry accounting. So, ito yung mga account titles no, na, gina, na ginamit noon. For example, mga private property, capital, commerce, credit, writing, money, and arithmetic. Yan, yun yung mga um, accounting titles or uh, mga transactions na na-involve kaya nagkaroon ng double entry accounting. Yan, mga famous accountants. JP Morgan yan. Actually, um, I'm, current to I'm currently working as senior fund accountant uh, in JP Morgan. Yan. And Arthur Blank or Blink, Julia Sweeney, Walter L. Morgan. Feel ko, feel ko magkamag-anak sila na JP Morgan. Yan. And then Crystal Ball. And other important and interesting facts, accounting records date all the way back to the existence of Mesopotamia, in which the development of accounting numbers and money can be shown through taxation and other trading activities in the temples of Mesopotamia. So, unang panahon pa lang may taxation na, nung nagbabayad na sila ng buwis. Kaya kung nanonood kayo siguro ng mga uh, Korean novela, Korea novelas, yung mga K-drama na parang mga uh, historical, no? Minsan, natatakal din doon na nagbabayad sila ng mga buwis, yung pinagbabayad sila ng mga buwis. So, noong unang panahon pa lang may buwis na. So, dapat may accounting. Accounting also dates back to the Egyptian and their use of clay tablets to record financial information. Okay, so dati yan, hindi pa uso ang papel, ginagamit, kumagamit sila ng clay tablets. So, doon na uh, nalaman na um, sa Egypt no ginamit na rin yung ano nag-accounting na rin sila na discover through the K tablets clay tablets yan Okay that's all for today no so we have already discussed the definition of accounting nature of accounting functions of accounting and the history of accounting Okay so I hope that you have learned a lot and if there's anything that bothers you or if there's anything that you can't understand, just uh, ping me or um, message me through FB Messenger. And, and also, you can be search to, through Google and other um, educational sites. And, and just to add more knowledge. And this will be uploaded uh, through paper or via paper so you can um, rewatch this um, video okay so thank you everyone so next chapter is chapter two branches of accounting okay so have a nice day bye